Rent is woo woo and out here. Hello. Hello. Hey, Couture Bays. It's your girl, Brit Brat, going live with the Bree Talk and Bay Squad. We got to talk about Belle Kanana and this never-ending story with Tasha K. But before we get started, let's like, comment, and subscribe. Tap that notification bell so you can get all the updates and alerts. And remember, opinions are not facts. Everything we say here is allegedly and for entertainment purposes solely. So sit back, relax, sip you some apple juice or my favorite the vegan water, and let's get into the mess, shall we? Uh, old, uh, 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 old girl, they used to be her friend. They used to work with her, that she used to live with her, used to hang together. And it's crazy that, like, Mob's world. In court, we found out that that woman is, she got, she's psychophrenic. And in court, we found out that that woman was never my friend. Like I said from the beginning, never was my friend. We never hung out. We never had a conversation. We never had each other's numbers. And the girl, I sue her as well, but she's psycho, she's psychophrenic. So, and she ran the way. She ran away. She disappeared from the earth. Mob's world. And when it was time to go to court, if, yeah, you, you guys can literally YouTube it. She did an interview. And in the interview, she literally admitted that everything she said was a lie and that she's psychophrenic. And then you went to the Adam 22 interview and you still insisted that this lady was my friend. And that was the lady that claimed that I had herpes, that I used to work with her, that I used to, she used to live with me and all this shit. And it's like, that's the issue with her. You don't stop. You don't stop. You don't stop. Like, you don't stop lying. You don't stop insisting. You don't start talking shit. And it's like, I'm a person with a heart, no matter what, no matter how much you hurt me. Mom's world. Because when I say that in 2019, I literally... First of all, she she also paid the people. She also paid some guys, and she was making those fucking retards. Hashtag Cardi drug man, Cardi drug man. I'm pretty sure that you guys remember that shit. She was the engine to that, and literally, I literally wanted to die every single day. I wanted to die every single day. I just wanted to die. Like it's like I just wanted to get hit by a bus every single day. So I was that depressed. And you know what? After I won the case, I, I just felt liberated. Uh, uh, some times have passed. I just let my lawyers deal with it, deal with the thing. And I was, I didn't really want to go as hard on her. But you just don't stop. And like, it's like, since you don't know when to stop, I'm not going to stop neither. And I could continue for years. I could continue for years and years and years. It doesn't bother my, my pockets at all. It don't bother my pockets at all. So I don't care. Cause you, you, you just don't stop. Some people just are so relentless. They're so relentless and they just don't see when they affecting themselves. Even after yep. the court case, I feel like we could have had a conversation. She would have hit me up and said some shit. I probably would have like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I could have done. But it's just like you, you just continue to spread lies, try to continue. You continue to try to break and cause chaos in my house, in my home. And no matter what people think, and just because I don't talk about it or just because I, I, I don't, I don't want to go and talk about it and get sympathy and all this bullshit, I am very touchy-touchy when it comes to takeoff. So for her to even try to be funny about it and be like, oh, because you guys were showing guns and blah, blah, blah. Like, it's that girl. Shut the fuck up. I don't even play like that. Mob's world. So yeah. that's why it's like, I'm the late with my fucking De Niro, bitch. You hurry the fuck up. And I will not stop. Period. Period. I, I said the same thing, Cardi. When when all of this went down and you won the case, I said, man, that Cardi is so forgiving that even now, if that lady came to you humbly with her hat off and apologized, you probably would have just dropped the whole thing. But no, baby girl, want to keep talking, so you know, keep the pressure on her. Mm -hmm. I'm not mad at it at all. Period. But anyways, it's whatever. I just really don't like. My motherfuckers is in here talking about waiting for money. Waiting for money, what? I make money in my sleep. I could literally survive with just whip shots. 
let's say if you take away my money, let's say I take away your take all my endorsements, let's say I could survive with just off whip shots. Literally, I could just survive off that. So I don't even know why these motherfuckers even trying me in the comments. Like I, I need it. Even her, she be trying me. Like, oh, she's going broke. She's going, baby, please. I'm clapping my ass on my three hundred thousand dollar counter. Period. Mobs world. Like, come on, now. I just spent two hundred dollars, two hundred thousand dollars in fucking a month and a half on purses. Easy. Easy. But you know, purses is an investment, so don't even look at me like that. <laughs> <laughs> and we can also okay. we can also hit an echo in your home, so that tells me you got tall ceilings. <laughs> it's giving tall ceilings, marble, marble countertops. Woo, child! I told y'all she is a stalker because why is she quoting things we have said? as our commentary in our opinions about how she feels about Tasha K. And she proves us right every time. Shout out to Mob Radio for getting this exclusive because look at these black creatives settling for anything, just taking these measly crumbs when we saw her with the pale people dolled up, dressed up, giving them exclusive content so that they can monetize and market while she's over here hiding in Mac chats in her unfurnished mansion. Baby, at the end of the day take us out the group chat take us out the group chat we are tired of hearing you cry about tasha k so what put it in your music go on tour and do what needs to be done and if you don't want to do it just say it because tasha k is not going nowhere she runs the streets you are mad adam 22 sided with tasha k he did not go against her for you who are you so you're the only person who needs to tell your side of the story because last time i checked there's multiple sides everybody's entitled to tell what happened she was in the courtroom why are you lying we know for a fact you wanted to punish tasha k hence why you were elated by dennis byron doing the things that he was doing and choke no joke you are not a humbled woman because if you was humbled you would go on about your day and make sure you get your coins instead of stopping bags because we all know what you did over there with joey budden okay mr uh be a grown man but he's out here settling for bottom feeders like you this is why i say comprehension is so important and it's important to make sure your children have the best education because look at what no child left behind did to Bo Kanana. this is somebody's mother and wife and for the record when takeoff said he was team Nicki minaj with uh quavo you said stand on it pussy we did not forget you are not a nice woman you're not out here just oh it's rainbows and butterflies you are a menace to society you cause mayhem and confusion and like to hide your hands you do the bidding of the devil you demonic uncouth unhinged woman okay go lay on somebody's couch and figure it out because how does the opinions of others affect you so bad that you try to stifle them in their growth their voice in their financial gain answer that honey and this is why i say she is anti-black woman but y'all go up for the spicy latinas because y'all are anti-black yourselves but what are y'all thoughts on this base squad how are y'all feeling are y'all ready for this exclusive interview tonight comment down below i gotta go Bajos.